Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'll be demonstrating how you can go around with the dimension drawing you can see on the left side and create a sheet metal component as you can see on this image here. So we are on the last part of our tutorial series and here we have a couple of things to do like creating flanges over here as you can see and a flange here and uh, drilling a couple of holes. So, what you could do now is uh, firstly go for the flange tool and then make sure that you're on the basic flange, click over here and specify the length as 19 and just click on the OK button and you got the flange there that's the first flange which you have to do and the next flange which you can do, which you can do is select this edge and again go for the flange and uh, here you could give the length as uh, 30 you can see this length as 30 and uh, just go for OK and you got the next flange over there now what you could do is uh, to create cutout holes so just go for insert and go for cutting and uh, click on hole and then select the face which you need the hole the next thing you could do this hole is uh, just very similar to the hole which you drill on uh, the part design workbench so that's not really difficult so just uh, go for dimensioning and uh, specify the dimension which you have to do is like 22 from this face it's 22 and another dimension is 10 and from here to this edge I'll show it from the top so that's a 10 if you had uh, made the view like a dotted line or something a see through view you would have got that uh, from the top view itself also it's fine just come out of the sketch and now specify the diameter as uh, it's a diameter just go ahead and see the diameter is 13 so just specify 13 as the diameter and click on OK and you got the hole over there similarly you can uh, cut out another hole which is of diameter 8 so just do the same step go to cut out hole and then click on the position sketch and just select the dimensioning click on the point and the circle and make it concentricity you know that uh, both of these two circles share the same center so that, so that you can go for that as long as your other circles diameter this is, is correct and now you could uh, specify this diameter as 8 and click on OK and you got the dimension for that too and uh, you have drilled all the holes and uh, I mean uh, you have cut out the holes and uh, have created the necessary flange and created the necessary wall on edge and other flanges are also done and our design is complete for the holder clip if you have any doubt on this tutorial please comment below the video and I'll be getting in touch with you if you have any CAD related projects or inquiries you could write to me at ketia.proboduser at gmail.com and thank you so much for watching and stay tuned